The beginning of the Joseph story is a bit of a distraction, focusing on his external beauty or on the clothes he wears. This is all literally window dressing, as the Torah begs us to look deeper and see that, in fact, it's Joseph's intelligence and character that lead to his redemption from prison and places him in a position to save his family. Joseph is able to do so by using his talents to become a true leader. A true leader must be able to do three things. Have a vision to solve a problem, recognize the technical requirements of that solution, and persuade people who stand outside of their natural constituency towards that solution. And in our Parsha, Joseph does all three. First, Joseph uses his intelligence and inspiration from God to decipher Pharaoh's dreams. There will be seven years of plenty, followed by seven years of famine. Then he presents a plan to Pharaoh and his court of advisors of how to prepare the kingdom so that it will survive this challenge. Ration supplies in the years of plenty so that storehouses can be filled to provide in the years of famine. And finally, he does so in a way that convinces Pharaoh and his advisors, people who would naturally be inclined to be skeptical of an outsider and threatened by his potential success, that not only is his plan the right one, but that Joseph is the one to implement it. Joseph demonstrates to us the kind of leadership we need today. People who can define a vision, explain how it will be accomplished, and make it enticing to political competitors. Those are the leaders we need today. To get there, we must find and support leaders who will lead us forward to work together with competing political positions and parties for our own good and the good of our nation. This demands of us that we don't put forward people who simply make us feel good about our own position, perhaps articulating our hopes and anxieties better than we can ourselves. Search out good leadership, support it leaders like Joseph. And please, follow me at Am Yisrael Rabbi so that I can share these words of Torah with more people. Shabbat Shalom.